Rama, thank you. Well, no power means some traffic lights still not working around Mobile, and that's making for some nervous moments among drivers. It's one of the biggest concerns for the city, too. Tyler Fingered in Mobile tonight with what's being done to keep the city open and traffic flowing. The city of Mobile was facing a big problem with those traffic lights being out, but now they're innovating, doing something they've never done before to get those lights back on. For those without power right now, the hum of a generator might be a familiar sound. For the first time, the city of Mobile is turning to them while the power is out at stoplights. Knowing that we were going to be facing another curfew if we didn't try something, this is what we've done and it looks like it's going to be successful. After some tinkering, the city got the portable generators to work at several major intersections that still don't have power. On Dolphin Street at the West I-65 service road, Mobile police have to use 26 officers to direct traffic in that one area. Now they only need one. The cost of the city or the police department is about $800 an hour just to staff this one intersection. So that's why when Chief Hodge approached about trying to get this one up and running, we can release 26 officers that can be assigned to other assignments. The hope is all traffic lights will have power soon. After two days of restoration efforts, Alabama Power is making progress. In Mobile, more than 120,000 people have their power back. But that doesn't help the thousands still in the dark. Alabama Power saying they are working as fast as they can. Due to the impact of this storm, we do not have an estimated time of restoration. The impacts of this storm are very similar to Hurricane Katrina for us in Mobile. The city plans to retrofit the signals at some other highly trafficked intersections to make it easier to use generators with traffic lights to help after future storms. Where we want to end up is, is that we don't want to have to have a bunch of electricians come out. We want to have it where you can come plug in the generator, make sure you have some gas and keep on going without having to, you know, uh, do as much work as we had to do today. For intersections that won't get a generator, Mobile Police plan to have officers present. In Mobile, Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.